What's up everybody, Peter Valley here, and I'm gonna cover in this video the top three book categories that sell the most during the holidays. So this video specifically is for Amazon booksellers that want to either one, inform their sourcing leading up to the holidays, they know what to, what to buy and what to invest in and what's gonna fly off the shelves, virtual shelves, so to speak, and two, what to give the most attention to when we're in the midst of the holidays so you know exactly what to give your attention to in terms of repricing, what you can price most boldly, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so who am I? My name is Peter Valley. And actually, let's just go ahead and skip the bio here. Let's just cut right to it. Um, let me just say this really quick. Um, my promise to you is you can build an entire business off of what I give away for free. So what I'd ask you to do is just hit the like button on this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So if it seems like a fair trade to get enough information for free, you can build an entire business out of in exchange for subscribing. Just go ahead and do that right now. And that will be my promise to you that I will deliver on. Okay, so before we get into what's selling, what's not selling? This is something I don't hear a lot of people talk about. There is one book category that is not selling virtually at all during the holidays. Do you guys know what it is? The answer is textbooks. Sales of textbooks crater during December. Now they're gonna be at a crawl up until about the 10th, at which point they become almost entirely non-existent. So I don't, the reason I mention this, I don't want you to panic. If you start, if you're doing heavy heavy business in sex textbooks, and you notice you're not selling any textbooks during December, nothing's wrong, that's normal. You can look at the Keepa charts, the sales rank charts for any textbook, you will see that demand craters during December, okay? Nobody's buying textbooks, nobody's in school, nobody's thinking about school, right? Don't worry. It's the calm before the storm because textbook season is just around the corner. And once January 1st happens, it explodes. And that's basically our Christmas as booksellers, right? We get more, I get more sales in January than I do in December. So you're not going to see virtually any textbook sales during December. Um, that's normal. Don't panic. Don't, just don't slash prices. Don't do anything weird. Just hold your ground and you'll get to make up for all of it come January. Okay, top book selling category during the holidays, number one is new condition books. Now I covered this in my last video, I'm gonna go in more in depth in this video. I want you to think about this for a second. How many people give a used book as a gift during Christmas? Now it happens, but it's not really that normal, right? And you will almost always, if you're at least a, uh, uh, a moderately uh, conscientious gift giver, you're probably gonna be try to try to stay in within social norms and give a new book if that's an option. Now there's certain tons of exceptions, right? There's collectible books, uh, there's just books for which there is no new condition option, et cetera, et cetera. But generally you're gonna try to be given a new condition book as a gift, right? That's just considered normal. So that said, the rest of the year, new books sell less than used books. Now I've seen some data that tries to indicate that new books sell better than used books. If you're actually an Amazon seller and you actually have your boots on the ground, the reality does not back that up at all. Used books will always sell better than new books. A, a new book simply doesn't offer that much value over a used book unless it's a gift. So this is the one time of year when everything kind of flips, but the rest of your used books sell better than new. I don't care what anyone else says. If you're actually selling Amazon, you know used books sell better than new. You could have two copies of one book, one of them's new condition, one of them's used condition. The used condition will almost always sell faster. I don't, it just is what it is. The holiday season is a great time for you to purge yourself of any new condition books that you may have in your inventory because they're gonna sell faster this time of year unlike the rest of the year. Now what that means is you wanna give extra special attention to any books in your inventory that are in new condition um, starting right after Thanksgiving, right? So you wanna, when you're going through and you're repricing your inventory, which I recommend you do manually during the holidays, there's a lot at stake. Um, repricing software simply can't be as granular as you need to be during this time of year, especially. So what you give an extra attention and you're doing your manual repricing, give extra attention to new condition books and price them outrageously high, right? If they're if moderate to high demand, price them outrageously high. Um, obviously you want to keep in mind, you don't ever want to price higher than Amazon because you can never price higher than Amazon and expect to get a sale. So Amazon's always the ceiling, but you want to get as close as you can, you know, within, you know, I usually price, it really depends, but a dollar lower than Amazon is just like a good sort of rough um, guideline to go by. Some people price more than a dollar below Amazon. Do what you want to do, but the point is stay below Amazon. But beyond that, all rules are out their window when it comes to new condition books during the holidays. Top selling book category number two is books that Amazon is sold out of. Now there's kind of two parts of this. I'm just gonna focus on one of them. You could also include under this umbrella books that Amazon is not selling at all ever which is a ton of books, right? People think Amazon's selling every single book there is. Really, it's actually a small percentage. Um, Amazon, when I, when I, what I mean by that is books that Amazon is actually selling directly. There's actually a copy owned by Amazon that Amazon is selling. Um, what I'm gonna focus on specifically in this section is give emphasis to the books that Amazon normally sells but is sold out of. You guys, these are gold and lots of titles sell out during this time of year. So the only way that I know of to actually 
system, there's no systematic way to detect what books Amazon sold out of that I'm aware of. So what I'm gonna recommend you do is as you're going through your inventory, we're pricing manually every single day, which I know if you've got more than you know 100 books in your inventory, that is absolutely painstaking, but it must be done this time of year. When you're going through repricing your inventory manually, I strongly recommend that you pay attention to books that Amazon may be sold out of. Now, one dead giveaway that Amazon sold out of a book is if you notice that the used condition price is, is more than a new condition price. Because Amazon will often return a price in the column there. It'll say, Amazon selling this for XYZ, but when you actually click over and look at it, actually, Amazon is not selling that book, they're out of stock. And so when you see the used price go above the new price, that's often a sign that Amazon's out of stock. But what, however you determine this, pay attention to whether Amazon is out of stock for a book. And keep in mind, the Amazon offer will still be visible, but you kind of got to read the fine print. It'll say temporarily out of stock, like, you know, we'll let you know when it's back in stock, or this is when we expect it'll be back in stock, or there's different different sort of text there. But the point is, when you see a book that Amazon's out of stock of, you can price outrageously, insanely high, and uh, and, and, and still get a sale. Because, you know, people prefer to purchase from Amazon above third-party sellers, but when Amazon's not an option, we're next in line. And it's the holiday. So if people want a book, they want a book. They don't really have any options as far as like where else they're going to get one. Like Amazon is just about the only game in town. If you want to make sure a book arrives on time, um, that's it, right? So the free second day shipping, mandatory, mandatory. And the, tra the tracking, the trust, all that is mandatory during the holidays. So people are pretty much only buying FBA prime eligible offers. And if they can't get it from Amazon, they have to get it from us. So anytime you see a book that Amazon sold out of, this is absolute like bloodbath gold mine. Okay, so um, I have sold some books uh, like literally $100 above Amazon's price um, because I noticed they were sold out. And if the demand's high enough, you can actually get away with that, particularly during the holidays. Okay, top selling book category during the holidays, number three is gift type books. So I want you to look through your inventory and pay attention to a couple things. I want you to look for certain keywords. So th there's a certain amount of intuition that's required to understand or to really like read the, a book as to whether it's a giftable book or not. So you're looking for things that are, um, some of them are obvious, some of them are not obvious. So I'm gonna give you a list here to go off of. Um, this is by no means not all inclusive, like not at all. These are just some keywords to look for. And if you have books like this in your inventory, these are, the demand for these is gonna go way up and that means you can price them really high and that means all your competitors are probably gonna sell out, assuming the rank is, you know, decent and um, good times will be had by all. So box sets, right? Box sets are extremely giftable. That is a giftable type book. Hunger Games box set, like whatever, right? Box sets are huge during the holidays. Number two, books that have the word term limited edition in the title. That's a small tell that a book might be highly giftable, right? It's gonna be something that, you know, a, a, a fan is gonna want. And so parents or friends or whatever are gonna get these types of books, um, these types of books and give them as gifts, okay? Number three, anything in a, with a slip case or a slip cover. Again, very, very giftable. These, again, when you think about a gift, it's more about the aesthetics than the actual content, right? So when you think about how like the psychology of gift giving, you wanna give something that is, has kind of the wow factor. And that wow factor may not actually have any any discernible benefits to the person receiving the gift, like a slip cover, right? That's a very sort of um, something that's only done for production value, and that makes it more appetizing to give as a gift, right? So that's kind of the theme you'll see running through this list. Um, books that are described as gift set, lots of books are sort of literally just marketed as gifts. Any sort of big brand like Star Wars and like Harry Potter, all that stuff. There's always like these gift sets. Pay attention to that. Um, books that have the word deluxe in the title. Coffee table books. People don't, it's kind of weird. People, it's another type of book that people aren't necessarily always buying for themselves, but it's a very presentable type book as a gift, right? Coffee table books, big photography books, etc. cetera. Um, last one, Christmas themed books. Obviously, I gotta say it, again, I'm stating the obvious here, but prices for some of these go absolutely insane during the holidays. So when you're going through repricing or if you're leading up to the holidays, purchase Christmas themed books if they have any any value at all outside of Christmas, the, the value is gonna go way up during Christmas. Okay, I'll leave on this note. Don't forget the golden rule of holiday sourcing, price unreasonably high. So here's some action items for you. Identify books from all three categories in your inventory right now and reprice them slightly unreasonably high with the expectation that because it's the holidays, you can get away with this. Now, if you're watching this outside the holidays, just keep this in mind, make a mental note. Pay attention to these three categories of books, reprice them like crazy, reprice them outrageously high or slightly outrageously high during the holidays and make a bunch of money. And my hope for you is that you make so much money during the holidays that um, you don't even care what Santa brings you because you'll be able to afford it all yourself.